Nintendo presents Metroid 4. <laughs> Deep in the far reaches of space, a ship flies across BSL. Oh, and there's Samus' ship. And she's just minding her own business. Wait, I'm not on the call yet? Oh. Oh! I'm in the wrong call. Whoops! Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, let me get this little intro out of the way and then I'll start the call. Uh, Samus, what are you doing? Kaboom. No, <clears throat> kaboom. So yeah, this is Metroid Fusion, uh, the, the fourth installment of this uh, main Metroid series. And probably the last I'll be doing in this little marathon here. So, um... As far as I'm concerned about the other Metroid games, this was kind of the least um, that I was looking forward to. Up until I found out that apparently the first two Metro games were a pain in the ass. By comparison, I actually beat this game a couple of times. Not as big on it as I am with uh, Super Metroid, but it's still a really good game. There's a lot of progression that... a lot of progress that I had. And... Um... You know, the, the, by comparison, I still enjoyed uh, Super Metroid more. I know that sounds unfair to compare to. Um, I will give it this much. I do appreciate its different direction at what it was trying to do with the game design. Um, unfortunately, I can't say too much about it being too linear. That's the biggest issue. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and fix the problem that I had, um, you know, being in the wrong call. So... There. Um, now that that's taken care of, I can hopefully get this going. Mm. Yeah, what Derek said. Uh, fusion is good, but being kick, uh, being locked from enjoying freedom of exploration is what makes my fun fun. It's showtime. Hi, Jesse. Fusion! <laughs> ha! Hello. What? what? <laughs> uh oh, okay. Hi. DBC Joe Golden. Yes, of course. <laughs> Anyways, let's 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 get this started. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. This is story time. This is how the game starts. I've been oh, I've been assigned to watch I've been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. Yes, good old yes. nostalgia of how frustrating the fucking Metro 2 was. <laughs> You can see how much more lifelike it is now. No kidding. Yeah. So yeah, that was uh that was Jesse and Logic and rephrase it again, that's yes. Jesse. Yes. Not Bliss. <laughs> By the way, I can yeah, hear myself. Yeah. Logic, are you wearing Logic. headphones? I am. Hold on. And yes, what? you don't get me confused with Blissy. If I see You're anybody... set to 200 for some reason. <laughs> yeah, guys, trust me. You, we, we don't want a Neeric in the call. For some reason, Golden was set to 200 on my disc. Oh. I, I, so, okay, so I was blasting your eardrums. My bad. And, mm. of course, once again, uh, already somebody well, was not you. for Blissy. God dang it! <sighs> Anyways, it was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. The story of how Sam was drinking and flying and how she crashed into the astro field. <laughs> I saw that too. It, Wait, was only later, it was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we know as X. Unaware of my condition, wow, I didn't know X was in this game. I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had infe uh, infected my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and uh, my ship drifted into the asteroid belt. Samus, are you sure that you didn't drink your ass off? And that's when she blacks out. And there goes the ship. No, Blissy! <laughs> no! Yeah. Poor Samus. Yeah. Samus never gets a fucking break. It's like, okay. No, she doesn't. 
no, like, okay, so the previous game, she goes to give the, uh, that last Metroid to a research station, and as soon as she leaves, she picks up a distress signal. Hey, uh, the, the place was under attack. Oh, fuck, I gotta turn back now. Fuck! And then this happens. It's like, hmm. Yeah. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic, uh, Biologic's vessels recovered it and transported me to the Galactic Federation headquarters. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. Then it came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my, uh, my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had be, uh, had to be surgically removed, okay, dramatically altered my physical appearance. However, the X on my central nervous systems were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. Wonders, wonders. Hey. The X seems more like a Sigma virus. <laughs> I love that Wheeler still says that. They proposed that using a metro... It does. It fits way too well. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant uh, Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. And there they go, shrinking down into nothing. Bye, fuckers. Okay. Yo. Hey, I just want to say that, like, coming off of the other stream that was all about freaking hentai bees and the fact that this Parasite X stuff looks like honey oh makes me feel really uncomfortable. God damn it, logic. <laughs> As for me, one life ended, yet I survived reborn. How can you survive reborn if... Never mind. As something different... Also, what the heck, logic? You don't understand if you were watching the last stream. <laughs> Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. Yeah. Sad. We'll soon be arriving at BSL Research Station. I must prepare for docking. Also, hey, Felix. Hi, Felix. How are you doing? Yo, what's up? The, yeah, ship's com guys? the ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biological Space Station, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent me the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the, sta uh, rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and I now am being sent there to investigate. My message on the BSL station will be overseen by new ship's computer, following the commands of this blunt computer ICO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my take into the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other co. Hmm. So, needless to say, Samus was not looking forward to this. <laughs> no, she is not. I, I don't blame her at all. <laughs> also, fucking the company or the people, whatever they're doing, are called Biologic. <laughs> it's like somebody took me and made a pony spin off of Bio Bro. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just coming out of a, like, coming out of a radioactive uh, drum. Just oozing out. Also, <laughs> 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 oh, so I just like, want to say. Was hey, so I just oh, want to say, I love what Jamu, <laughs> Jamu Smash says. Oh shit! Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Oh yes, we're definitely gonna do this with a little bit of. Oh. Make that double! Yeah! Is that the good stuff? It's the cold one. 
Cracking a cold one with Double the boys. Gold. Double yeah, gold, buddy. Woo! <laughs> okay. Brand new Metroid Fusion flavor. Fizz. Okay, so I'm definitely split yeah. on the wall jumping mechanic. While it's easier to work with a mechanic because of how they controlled it, it's fucking bullshit that they nerfed it down. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it prevents you from freely exploring or sequence breaking. Oh. Yeah, Sam has got a new ride indeed. Yeah, I did notice the ride too. It was different. Hmm. Okay. I have to say this straight out. When mm -hmm. I first saw somebody play this game, I was like, this is how Alien Isolation should be. You know, D Birch earlier said this is more like Alien Resurrection when you think about the, um, the plot of it. That you're on a space colony and there's, like, unusual, like, living experimentations and it's gone completely bad and you have to evac um, evacuate the ship. Yeah, I actually SCP to containment bridge. down by almost every creature in the area, and you're practically on your own. This is kind of similar to how Alien Isolation is. Okay, I, I agree. I love a cursed uh, state. Uh, Sage says nobody loses their abilities every game. Samus, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Kra and Kratos isn't too far behind cracking knuckle. Ooh, Hopefully burn. Alright, so what's down here? <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Also, with regards to the with regards to the whole alien isolation thing, I would argue that having the the situation more similar to this would actually hurt the atmosphere since Samus can actually probably kill a xenomorph. Oh definitely she can body the hell out of a xenomorph. No no difficulty. Wait, what? J twelve K one says, um, Golden Fox, if you make it to the finale, uh, murder the animals. Some people say they carry the ex Kiss my ass! They no! saved my lo- Yeah! No, I- Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking piss <laughs> off. Go commit not alive. Go! Ooh. That's a bit Ooh. much. <laughs> that, that, not it's cool. like, I get- Dude, I get that they said the animals should die, but you don't follow that up with a they should die. <laughs> Damn. I know. All right, so apparently in the game, you regenerate by different parasites. The yellow ones that they're showing right now, that rejuvenates your health, replenishes your health, sorry. Um, the green ones replenish your ammunition. Red ones replenish everything. So it's a very interesting spin compared to the previous uh, installments. So, so in Metroid Aliens crossover, you know what? I would be interesting. Sam is taking on... The xenomorphs. Mm. Oh, God. oh, that would get but, crazy fast. Samus and Ripley joining together. Holy shit! But you know that, that would be fucking fire, yo. <laughs> I mean, that lead, that does lead us to the next inevitable question: Samus versus the Predator. Oh God! Oh, that fuck. would be an interesting matchup. It would be. I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be an, like a complete stomp. Like, it, like if she was going against straight up xenomorphs. Because uh, Predator has a lot of uh, uh, equipment that could that could kind of give her might be able to give her a hard time if she can't find him. All right. Close half the time she won't even be able to see him. And aren't the Predators similar to like being bounty hunters as well? well predators no, are they're, predators they're, are they're, they are trained hunters. Yeah, that's what they are. They're trained hunters from across the universe. Hmm. And they can hide. They have equipment to hide their their uh, their thermo oh, signature too. So her so her like thermo visor wouldn't work all, all right. You know, like it mm. normally would. Basically, yeah. they value hunting. They value their technology enough to nuke themselves if you actually beat them in a fight. So losers. And um, yeah, above all else, they value honor and not giving their stuff to other people, which kind of makes sense. Which kind of makes the Predators all just Wakanda. All the Predators are just Black Panda. They're really, 
it's like they have really expensive equipment that they don't want to share, and they're almost unkillable. Let's see. Kind of, but they're pretty almost OP if, if you're not careful. Oh, Nelson Defamer. They are. Holy shit. Okay. Oh god, you know what I just thought of? What if the space pirates teamed with Wyland Titani to make Xenomorph Metroid Wayland hybrids? Yutani. Oh god. I think I think Nelson had a few typos there. It's Wayland Yutani. Is he also Go ahead, Logic. I find complications with the Xenomorph Metroid thing. I'd be more worried if the X Parasite managed to start copying the Xenomorphs and improving on them. Because ah, that's ah. something I think it can do. Or what if they make Xenomorph Metroid hybrids? Yeah, oh, no. Thank you. No, I don't that, want that, it. That imagine, be... imagine Metroids and face huggers combined. I mean, they already hug yeah, but that's, face anyway. That's where that's where my problem kind of begins with that theory because face huggers and Metroids technically do the same thing. Only face huggers leave something behind. The face huggers make the eggs. So, if a face hugger so tried to stick. No, but it's like, if a face hugger tried to stick its egg into a Metroid, the Metroid would just drain out the vital essence of the egg. So I think it'd be, I think it would be very difficult to incubate a Xenomorph in a Metroid. However, imagine a face hugger getting his spider leg finger things on fucking Ridley. Or Mother Brain. Oh, thank yeah, the you. thing, Mother Mother Brain would be the ultimate source of making hybrid Metroids. I did buy a vanilla latte, but I just because Ridley is like Ridley and Mother Brain don't do the stuff that Metroids do, so By they're the not way, basically um, immune to face up. Logic, hold on a second. Am I hearing that Felix is too loud? Hmm? Uh, his mic is he's kind of peaky what? on his mic a little bit. Oh, yeah. How's this? Hang on, let me see if I can... Oh, yikes. That explains a lot. Okay, uh, I turned you down to about 100%. My bad. You had him on 200, oh, didn't you? Discord's yeah. being so weird. Some people get elevated to 200 for no reason. Yeah. I know, right? It's weird.